Oh, I cannot afford to spend this much money. This is a dangerous, dangerous place for me to be. I don't need any gear, but I want all of it. I've just walked into Bic Camera, which is in Osaka in Japan, and I've never been here before. I'm not really sure what to expect at all, but I know the camera stores in Japan are where it's at, and I'm very, very uh, interested in seeing what they've got and sharing it with you because I know you guys care about gear and about prices. So let's try and figure out where all the cameras are. second floor I think this is where the camera stuff is I'm starting to see some of it so I think this is probably it but yeah it's time to dig in boom we have made it this is definitely the camera section of this uh, big camera hence the name of the store but it's like five floors and it's not only cameras it's like all electronic accessories you can think of plus then like medicine stuff like pharmacy as well as booze and like food so this is like a full-on department store but it is still called big camera I'm seeing the 60 Mark II here. We've definitely we found the camera place though. So let's let's dig into a bit of detail on this camera store and see what we can find. Here she is, I've got a crunch down on the floor, but I have found the 15 to 35 IS brand new Canon wide angle right there for 275,000 Chinese or Chinese Japanese yen. And I'm not exactly sure how much that is in dollars, but I'm gonna wager a guess around like north of 2,350, maybe like 2,500 even, uh, which is bloody expensive, but man, that lens looks really nice and it would be good to replace my 16 to 35. Even though it still works really well, the 2.8, I'm very tempted to get that 15 to 35 2.8 with IS for my Canon R. This baby here is the GGI Ronin SC. Now, Brendan's been using that in the field for like over a month and it looks like the perfect gimbal. I've been using the Crane V2 Plus for like probably a year now and I really, really like it for the GH5, but having this gimbal would probably be pretty nice too, so. Oh, I cannot afford to spend this much money. This is a dangerous, dangerous place for me to be. I don't need any gear, but I want all of it. There's even a sign here for the GoPro Max. I'm pretty certain that this is a brand new 360 camera from GoPro that you can't even buy yet. It must be on pre-order. I read about this yesterday, so I would have loved to have seen it here. The Fusion is here, which is a great 360 camera, but the Max looks like it's even better for somebody like me, and I could definitely see myself playing with a lot more 360 angles in the vlogs if I was able to pick up the Max. So, kind of wish I could see that in person, but I do think that it's going to be like similar size to the Fusion, maybe a little bit smaller, which would be really nice, um, and obviously good quality and, and come with software that I can really utilize in a 16 by 9 to put into these videos. I think that could be really cool. I've seen that done a lot with the Insta360 ONE X, but uh, I'm a bit of a GoPro fan. I'd like to see the GoPro Max in action and, uh, and use it, see if we can get some good footage. <laughs> like a kid in a candy store. This is the EOS R, the uh, Nikon Z6, the Sony a7 III, and the Panasonic Lumix S1 all right beside each other in a row. <laughs> so good, so, so good. The 
only thing I actually need, funny enough, is a new uh, filter bag. The case that I got from Benro is way too big. If you saw the Benro uh, filter review that I did, you saw that case and it's not actually meant to be for the filter setup that I have. So I wanna try and find a filter bag, preferably Benro, that's like a hard case bag uh, that will fit all of my filters and the frames that they came in. Again, if you haven't seen that video, check it out. And I think this place might be the place to find a camera bag. I wonder. Check it out, it's my old camera bag. I highly recommend not buying this. I found Nick Page and Brandon Vansa. So I think I found what I'm looking for. This is the uh, low pro version of the filter case. And uh, I wanna get the one from Benro because it's actually more of like a hard case. This is a little bit soft and it looks like it's really full of these uh, individual filter holders. And I really need one that's got a little bit more space to actually hold the uh, foundation kit as well. So I believe that the one Benro actually makes is the one that I really need uh, because this is just not the, uh, the same kind of hard pouch style that I'm looking for. It's more like Lopro does it. It's more like this one that I need. Hear that? Oh, by the way, sorry about the background noise in here. I'm not mic'd up and this is a stereo mic on the top. So you're probably gonna get a lot of like this kind of uh, background music and people talking and all that stuff. I'm sorry, I've been having audio issues in the last couple of vlogs. It's uh, getting a little ridiculous. But anyway, you get the idea. I'm in a department store, <laughs> so there's noise. parts about being in an awesome camera store is that two out of these six lenses I already own and use on this camera and the other three lenses that I use for my Canon EOS R are also here and it's very cool to see all of my gear in the same place be able to price check it too now I know more or less the Japanese value of all of the gear that I have that I travel with all the time and I will tell you it's not cheap. So sadly our time is up here at the camera store and we have to leave which is very uh, yeah good in a way because I am far too distracted and there is a good chance that if I spend any more time here I'm gonna walk out with a $3,000 bill which I do not want even though I do want that Canon 15 to 35 2.8 with IS, the GoPro Max, possibly the GoPro Hero 8 Black, uh, definitely a new filter bag which they don't have which is the only thing I actually needed, possibly you know one of those Peak Design or Shimoda bags or get so bags even though I love my pack safe and don't think I would trade it in because this is the best camera bag that I've ever had but uh, there is so much here as you can get the idea S1H the S1R the, the Sony A7R4 oh my god man way way too much stuff and uh, and all of it I again don't need but I hope that you've enjoyed this little walk through a Japanese camera store this is a big camera in Osaka Japan so if you're ever in the area I highly suggest that you come and check this out and I hope you've enjoyed the video it's been a lot of fun in this kind of uh, hectic environment a little bit loud apologies for the audio but uh, yeah I think you know what it's all about so that's it if uh, I'm gonna cut myself off this is the end of the video I hope you've liked it thank you so much for watching I hope you like the new format that I'm trying out here on the vlog and uh, next up is Kyoto so I'll see you in Kyoto Japan <laughs>